Hello everyone. Welcome back to this tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to see what are the differences between on-premise Informatica MDM, Cloud Informatica MDM, and SaaS Informatica MDM. I'm going to also share my experience in each of this MDM implementation in this session. So before starting this session, if you have not subscribed my channel yet, feel free to subscribe my channel and also hit that like button. Let's start. Before going to understand the differences between these MDM implementations, we need to understand what this each Informatica MDM implementation means. So let's start with on-premise Informatica MDM. You might have worked on this on-premise Informatica MDM solution before. So in these solutions, what we do, we get the software from Informatica vendor. We also get the license for each of the software, such as if you are using ActiveOS, if you are using Informatica course software itself, and if you are using Informatica Power Center, then you acquire the license for each of this product. Then you need to also install the core components such as Linux server, database, etc. Once you install that Linux server database, on top of that, you install these softwares. So that means you need to own the software, Informatica provided software. Also, you need to own the infrastructure as well. So whenever we see the on-premise Informatica MDM software, that means we own the infrastructure as an organization and then we implement it which includes ETL layer, MDM layer, and the consumption layer. Let's understand what is SAS Informatica MDM. In SAS Informatica MDM, Informatica owns this software, means like the Informatica product itself, as well as the databases, the servers, etc., is owned by Informatica itself. So SAS, nothing but software as a service. So as this product is owned by Informatica, they provide this product on subscription basis. So you can subscribe for this service by paying some list amount. So in this, you have to just connect to this service or the, the component, use that component, and you can take a support from Informatica for issues or anything come related to the infrastructure because infrastructure is owned by Informatica. Here, the key thing to remember is not only the metadata, but the customer data is also present in, available in Informatica Cloud. So it's not on on-premise. The only option we have in our control is nothing but what are the sources which we are going to contribute to master the data. So those sources can be on-premise or those can be in the cloud. In some cases, we use the private cloud. So complete solution is provided by Informatica. So no need to worry about installing the software or installing the infrastructure. Then third category is Cloud Informatica MDM. So in this case, again, we need to work with Informatica to get the software licenses, etc. But we don't have to worry about Linux server and databases. So those will be installed on the cloud provided by Informatica. So Informatica will provide the infrastructure. Also, they will provide the software, but we have to work with Informatica to install the software in the cloud. Now, understanding these are three different implementation, on-premise, SaaS, and the cloud version. So what are the differences between these different MDM implementations? I have categorized the differences based on the various features such as deployment, control, cost, time to deployment, scalability, and security. Let's start with the deployment. On on-premise MDM, we need to have the administrative team. So development team will work with administrative team to carry out the deployment. As there are multiple teams involved, as well as the changes how to control between these two different teams. So that means there is a proper planning need to be done. 
so it is sometimes time consuming. In case of Cloud Informatica and SaaS Informatica MTM, the deployment process is quicker because it's a pre-established deployment process. So just as a development team, we have to just work with Informatica team to get it deployment done. For example, if you have like four to five server on on-premise, so you have to deploy various components on different servers. So the same thing is already automated on Informatica cloud side, so they don't have to do many things there. Now the control. Control is a major factor when we come across the on-premise as well as cloud or SaaS version of the MDM. On on-premise, we have so much control. So the security, we can use whatever we would prefer or whatever the organization prefer. Also, if you want to do the customization in Informatica product, you can do that. So for example, if you want to use the store procedure, you can use the Java code, you can use any other programming language to customize the MDM solution. However, the control on cloud and SaaS version are limited. So in cloud version, certain extent, we can still do the customization, such as you can use the Java programming to write the external call, etc. On the SaaS version, we cannot do customization. It's very big limitations there. If you want to do any minor customization, we have to close it with Informatica. They have to enhance that product to bring as a feature rather than customization. So very limited customization we can do in SaaS product. Also the security wise, we have to rely on the SaaS provided security. So you cannot use your security structure. So in our organization, if you are using any specific security, we cannot leverage that and use in SaaS version. So there is a big clash normally happens between the securities. So we have to uh, very mindful mindful about this feature. Next about the cost. As I said, we have to acquire the license and the software even before starting the installations. So that means they, it required high initial cost. On other hand, the cloud version has a medium cost compared to the on-premise and the SaaS version as it is subscription basis. So you can subscribe for a few services rather than all the services then your cost will be lower compared to on-premise and the cloud version. Time to deployment. Uh, the time to deployment on-premise required uh, to go through the various teams and the various processes. So it's a little bit slow, but the cloud and SaaS version are pretty fast because we have to just work with Informatica team and they are pretty uh, responsive in these cases. The scalability uh, on premise, of course, when you want to scale, suppose you want to add additional server to achieve the better performance of the MDM, it has to go through this installation process and upload process. So it has some limitations, but the cloud version and the SaaS version, the, it works on the underlying cloud, which is cloud is elastic. So you can quickly add or remove the additional servers if needed. So it is very quick, it's elastic. The security is very strong on on-premise because everything is in our control. Uh, on the other hand, the cloud and SaaS has medium and low security controls. So if you are working uh, or looking for the more control and the security, better security, on-premise is best option. However, if you are looking for uh, cheaper, as well as fast deployment, you can either pursue the Cloud Informatica or SaaS Informatica. So we understand the various features. And suppose you are architect of your MDM solution or project manager of your MDM solution, which MDM solution you should pick, right? That's a very big decision. And to understand uh, or to take the decision, we need to understand what is the goal. If you're going to have the better control on the MDM solution, I would recommend to use on-premise MDM solution because if you can customize, you can achieve the features which are not available in MDM solution by customizing it. Also, the security is also main thing 
in your organization suppose you are in the defense sector you would like to have very very strong security uh, then i of course the on premise mtm will be the great software but if you are looking for um, better in budget like if you are a small company and you are not have enough big chunk of money to spend on mdm implementation then you definitely you can use either cloud mdm or the saas version so if the time of deployment is main concern because you might not have the proper deployment team or your team size is very limited and you need quicker deployment then in that case uh, the cloud or saas version is best especially saas version is most um, faster compared to other mdm implementation the scalability also it i would not say the scalability a critical factor in mdm implementation and the reason is uh, the scalability makes sense if you have the drastic change in the data but in case if your organization has dealing with like lot of customer and it's growing with uh, high speed then you can definitely consider this factor for choosing mdm and the scalability factor is more uh, important uh, when it comes to the saas or the cloud versions they are very uh, easily scalable so this is uh, this is where you can choose now i'm going to share my experience about all these three implementations so i have uh, experience or i have worked on this mdm solutions for many years uh, so I sh- I'm thinking to give my opinion as a developer or as an architect, and, and not as an organization perspective. The, for the organization perspective, if you are, if you are trying to choose this software, I have already mentioned those features. Based on that, you can choose the appropriate solution. But let's consider as a developer or architect, what are the limitations, right? What are the good features you can leverage? So let's start with the on-premise MDM. as i mentioned on on premise mdm you have a better control so as a developer you have a better control to achieve the uh, customization in your project for example you want to perform various action after merge is happening after consolidation is happening that can be easily implemented by using post merge user exit or you can write um, external call after per uh, after user perform specific action on entity 360 so if you have the basic knowledge of java or if you have any other programming knowledge such as python you can control that feature also it's easy to configure it's a more stable version on premise is there since almost more than decade and half years so it's a very stable version there are very few issues it's getting enhanced always there are some minor issues comes here and there but it's most stable version so if you are not sure or you have very critical timeline as a architect as a developer on premise will be the good fit for you now let's consider the cloud mdm right so oh, before going to yeah the cloud mdm um it infrastructure is owned by informatica so if you don't have a team to control the infrastructure installing the software like linux boxes uh, softwares and all that then i think it makes sense to use cloud mdm where you can still do the customization such as using the user exit and java etc but it has to go through the scanning process by informatica if some of the custom jar files are not supported by informatica then it might create a problem to achieve the customization so other than that there uh, there is not a big issue uh, it only involve the additional cost for um, um, for the infrastructure which is managed by informatica but if you own your own infrastructure the cost is depends on how you can manage your own cost for that so it might get over the period it might impact the cost of the infrastructure provided by informatica because it's wholly controlled by them so today they may decide like just 100 dollar per hour after a year or so if they increase to $200 you may not have that control you have to go with their price ch- changes so that's a big risk and the third option is saas saas is fairly new in the market informatica saas i'm talking here um many features are not working the way expected and it comes with various components such as 
cloud data integration, cloud application integration, then customer 360, reference 360, and so on. So there are so many components and you have to manage all those components yourself. You need to have the of all the detailed understanding of how all these components are working. One of the big issue I have noticed is uh, not only to understand how these systems communicate with each other or how they are interrelated with each other, not only that, but you cannot do any customization in SaaS product. That's very big problem. There are limited uh, controls such as, for example, let me give the example. On on-premise or cloud MDM, you can create your own data model. You can add the column, you can delete the column, so on. But on SaaS product, you cannot delete the column. Once you add it, it will sit there. The only option we have is just disable them. So that means it's, it's, they have controllers, they have provided less control to us to achieve that. Also, apart from that list control, apart from list knowledge about how this component interact, the next thing is the security. The security feature is not well established there. So there you can configure the rules and give the minor level controls, but how to do that and how to manage it, it's very difficult to understand the, for the person as a developer, the architect of the MDM solution. So in short, the on-premise MDM is more stable. On cloud, cloud MDM solution is still better. So you, can, you, you can choose either on-premise or cloud MDM, but the SaaS MDM is a little bit, it's, it's still new. There are so many issues out there. It will take some time to get it established its own ground before going to its uh, fulfill. However, having said that, the future is cloud, right? So we have to go with the route with Informatica, SaaS product eventually. But if you can wait for a couple of years or so, it will become better than what currently it is. But if you're fairly new to starting on this project, then I would, I would recommend to go with the SaaS product because that's the future. So this is about my experience. I have faced multiple challenges in each of this product, especially the SaaS product. All on, other than that, I do not see any, um, any concerns. You can pick any uh, appropriate solution based on your needs. I hope you understand this Informatica MDM solutions in better way in this lecture. If you have any questions or queries, you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video. Thank you and have a wonderful time.